we are uh, going to talk to the ANC Women's League president. Today, of course, you'll recall, it marks what would have been 100 uh, 50 years since the birth of uh, Charlotte Matlege, one of South Africa's earliest black women activists. That's uh, Charlotte Matlege. Among her many achievements was that uh, she was at the forefront of the formation of the Bantu Women's League, which later became the ANC Women's League. And talking about the Women's League, let's uh, talk now to its president, uh, that's uh, Mama Batabile Lamini, who talks to us uh, all the way from Fort Beaufort. Uh, that's uh, in the Eastern Cape. Mambata, thank you very much for your time. As we've mentioned, Mama Charlotte Maklege was a pioneer. She launched the Bantu Women's League. She was at the forefront of uh, organizing uh, what was the first anti-pass movement. That was back in 1913. As the president of the Women's League, how should the legacy of Mama Charlotte Maklege be taken forward in modern-day South Africa? In the modern-day South Africa, we need many Charlotte Maklege's. Charlotte Maklege was an intellectual that was able to work with ordinary people and work with uh, women from the rural areas, but also he wa she was able to be part of discussions to place the issues of gender equality mm. in the agenda of the African National Congress. And in many uh, meetings, they were called uh, standing meetings uh, those days, she participated a lot. Mm. But one other thing, she was fearless. And that is why in the conference of the ANC, she was the only woman there. Others, oh, Mama eh, Utoka, oh, oh, Mama Madi Holkuma, Babe Ngapande Bemli Ndile. And if it was not eh, for u, u President Ukuma, Mama Charlotte would not have attended the first eh, conference of the ANC. Mm. because there was a debate in her presence about a woman attending the conference of the of the ANC. Yeah. Mind you, uh, President uh, J.L. Dube was elected in absentia, and there was no question uh, about that. And men in the ANC had a problem. And I think that is why, after some time, uh, Uma wrote uh, about an educated African girl. And therefore, it's important uh, for us to ensure that we continue uh, fighting violence against women and children. Yeah. We continue fighting for the issues of uh, expropriation of the land. We continue fighting uh, for education because Charlotte uh, valued education. In that, uh, when she came from uh, Wilberforce University uh, of uh, Ohio, she started uh, exchanges. And uh, many uh, people uh, from South Africa went there uh, to study. Yeah. Uh, let me come in there. Let me come in there for a second, if you will allow me. Uh, South Africa today, the problems that afflict women are many, whether you talk gender-based violence uh, to them being the face of poverty if you go to our township and uh, rural areas. Talk to us about whether you think the ANC-led government today has done enough to try and improve the status of women in the country? Only it's not enough. And we have been raising the issues with the leadership of the ANC. And more needs to be done, but also not uh, by the government only. Even uh, the business sector must be involved uh, in creating jobs, paying uh, for uh, scholarships, for young people and uh, 
also uh, ensuring that there is upward mobility for young women at the workplace. Mm. And uh, this year, the U UN women decided that uh, this year is the year of equal pay for the uh, value of equal work. And therefore, the president uh, pronounced uh, in the State of the Nation address last year mm. that uh, unequal pay for equal work will be a crime. And that uh, must be legislated. Mm. Let's talk about the issue of gender-based violence and femicide. The first of its kind gender-based summit, which was led by the president, it took place in 2018. And uh, what has since come after that is the national strategic plan to fight a GBV. As a woman leader who leads an organization whose interests have to do with the uplifting of women in this country. Have you scrutinized that document to see if indeed it is, it contains the kind of things that are going to deal an end to gender-based violence? When the document was presented uh, to the Women's League, there, is, there are a number of things we identified. One, uh, the budget for the strategy is not enough. But also, we, we must be mindful of that women's struggles are not uh, just about uh, violence against women and children. There are other underlying uh, issues that have to be uh, changed uh, promptly. Ensuring that uh, programs of government have a uh, the budget and uh, dealing uh, with uh, the bureaucracy that is there mm. and ensuring that uh, before pronouncements are made we are clear about uh, all processes uh, from policy making to legislation to implementation to evaluation and monitoring mm. and also it's very key that a government has a policy institute so that a uh, civil servants focus on implementation you cannot expect a uh, civil servants to do everything because uh, they got they get delayed uh, during the process but they can also uh, not uh, be a referee and a player yeah if we being honest mamba tabele lamini if we really just focus the attention on what the ANC Women's League has done in the past years, there have been some blunders, and many will argue, well, there's been lots of blunders, actually. Can you convincingly say that the Women's League has been at the forefront of fighting off the social ills that afflict women, or have you been more focused on internal politics of the ANC? Only we are an integral part of the ANC. And our role is to unite the African National Congress and South Africa. Because uh, without a united ANC, which is the leader of the society, there will uh, be problems all over. and. As the Women's League, we've taken a decision that we want to meet uh, with all uh, comrades equally, be honest uh, with them, raise uh, our issues. Mm. And we think that would be a positive uh, contribution. People usually quote uh, Charlotte Matzaga's uh, quotation of uh, taking uh, someone up should you go up. Mm. And that is very important uh, for all of us. We need to try and ensure that our work is intertwined and that uh, we give space to young and upcoming uh, people that have already started uh, shining and ensure that what we fought, fight for now 
is about generation equality. Mm. And therefore, m- much as we fight for issues of gender equality, and there are very strong uh, feminists in the National Executive Committee, starting uh, with the DSG of the ANC Women's League. Mm. Going to uh, Comrade uh, Tandi uh, Mudise, there is also a uh, past uh, leadership, Comrade Mavivi, Comrade Nosiviwe. Uh, there are many, many uh, comrades, Comrade uh, Press uh, Governor, Comrade uh, Frini Chinwala, that are there, that are feminists, that have been able to theorize uh, correctly the history of women's struggles. Mm. Because what is happening today is ensuring that the struggles of women are put correctly in the agenda. Some will because argue. Some will argue, Mazzaio though. Does not know. Sorry to interrupt you there, but some will argue that for there to be equality between men and women, there needs to be a strong focus on education. And Charlotte Maklaige was a strong proponent of education, becoming the first uh, black woman in this country to obtain a university degree. The education sector, primary education, has been led by Umamu Enji Motecha for a long time, but the outcomes of education in the country, people decry the poor state, children cannot read for understanding. That's surely uh, got to be something that concerns you given that that portfolio has been led by a woman leader for such a long time. Okay. We must also be conscious of the social challenges that are there in the whole society. I think uh, one of the issues that uh, are a problem for us as women is that the society sees uh, the school as the safest place for children than the family. And COVID-19 has presented us with a, an opportunity of strengthening families. And children learn at school, but when they go home, they need a guidance. But also, if you have high levels of illiteracy, Children will never be able, parents will never be able to guide their children. Mm. The responsibility of the education of children is the responsibility of the department as well as the society. So much as we would like uh, to criticize and, uh, and try and ensure that uh, there is uh, equal quality education mm. we must uh, also know that as parents we have a challenge there are many children that drop out of school by the time a uh, children a uh, complete school they are less than half of the children that start at a uh, uh, grade one mm. and that in itself is a big challenge all right but also children uh, our kids go to school and they, they, some have stayed at home for more than 10 years without jobs, which means that uh, they, we must bring uh, the new dawn that uh, Charlotte McLeague spoke about, the new dawn that was a cutting edge of the struggle for the emancipation of the people of South Africa. Final question to you, Mamba Tabile Lamini. The ANC is once again going through a difficult period. Its Secretary General, Ace Mahashule, is expected to step aside any time soon. Do you support that he steps aside so that the ANC can regain its moral authority in society? That is an internal ANC matter, eh, only. The Women's League has also raised uh, its views in the National Executive Committee. And we hope uh, also the officials uh, will uh, make a presentation. They sent uh, someone to make a presentation uh, to us 
and uh, we there are issues we'd like uh, to look into and uh, make uh, suggestions of how the whole um, uh, resolution reads. And therefore, anyone who is interested uh, to that resolution must read uh, the whole uh, resolution. And, and so what, what's the position of the Women's League, though, on the step aside? I said uh, we don't have a position yet. The NEC took a, a decision of uh, 30 days. So we have to meet as the ANC Women's League. I can't uh, talk about uh, my position a uh, year. I lead an organization and I speak on behalf of women. But at the top of our agenda is a united ANC. At the top of our agenda is an ANC that is going to change the quality of lives of the people. At the top of our agenda is the ANC that is going to implement the resolutions of the conference. So that is uh, on top of our agenda. And I think uh, you've seen the work we are doing. All right. Matabel Lamini, president of the ANC Women's League, thank you very much for affording us your time. Uh, during this time, the uh, country and, of course, the African National Congress marking 150 years of what would have been Mama Sharat Matwege's birthday. Well